Hi, I'm LV from Meadowlark Log Homes. I got my photographer Jana with me, my daughter. And we're going to go down this road right here. <clears throat> About a mile in here, there's a building site where we built a single level Green Valley Rancher for a customer. I have never seen the house. I was here at the site before we sent the log house here and built it, but I've never seen the house. So they, we've got the, we put the floor down, logs up, roof on, windows and doors in. I think it was varnished and chinked on the inside. We'll have to check it out. So let's go check out this new house that I've never seen, Green Valley Rancher. in a couple hundred feet to the house. So the customer told me I can help myself look at the inside. Let's get on with the tour, check it out. 28 by 32 Green Valley Rancher. Off the top of my head, I can't do the math, the square footage. It's on our website, uh, meadowlarkloghomes.com. Check out the link below. Green Valley Rancher, single level. This is pretty much the way it was set up on the website. There's our rough sawn timber planking porch deck that we put on. The house is not finished yet, but it's under what we call dry in. So let's hop on inside. Yes, we, I remember now, we did varnish the inside with four coats of plant-based crystal urethane varnish, log finish, and we put the chinking on all the seams. Let's have a look. These are our favorite windows, the Sierra Pacific H3. They are wood frame on the inside, a vinyl core, and aluminum clad on the outside. And we got the pine trim. All right, so that's the entry door, the back entry from the porch side. And this is the front door. This is a Sierra Pacific door matching the windows. So that's a good choice. Except they did pick a different color. These are like a bronze. We like the Sierra Pacific because they got a heavy aluminum on the outside, very tight. This is our Douglas fir trim that we cut for the, all the trim for the windows and doors. So we got a front porch here. One recommendation is to go longer with this roof cover so it completely covers the porch, which is an option to overhang this farther. That would prevent most of the snow on the porch. Those windows are not yet uh, been uh, delivered. Looks like the plastic came off. So the wind blew the plastic off, but those windows have been ordered. They're not in yet, and they'll be mounted in that space there, the framing that we put in. So that's left to do. This is the same footprint as the Green Gables. Green Valley Rancher, Green Gables, same cabin, except the Green Gables has a loft back behind that area. 
Now this design was the customer's request to have a half log wall right there and end right at this location with a beam going across. And in the floor plan, you'll see that this area here, the wall comes over a little farther and makes a round archway across this opening. So that's uh, possible too. In the pictures of the Green Gable, you'll see what we call a half arch. It goes up, arches this side, just goes straight across. And a lot of times we actually make a full arch right along that wall, a full arch in the log wall coming over. But this beam option from there all the way across is also possible. So there's different ways you can do it. But this whole configuration is designed for single level. The peak isn't super high, but still it's about 12 feet from where I'm standing. So it's pretty high, but the green gables would be quite a bit higher for a loft up in that area. The stairway would go in here and up into the loft. But we're talking single level, so this is what we got. Philip, nicely done chinking. Got everything nicely sealed. Trim looks good. Check out the color in the logs. All the logs have a unique coloring from one another, all different. smooth. There's an outlet on the wall. The customer had us cut these wall slots in. This is where a frame wall goes against here. The drywall is on this, in this slot here and here. Also room for trim against the drywall. An eight foot wall and then over here the same way. This is probably a closet wall from here over to, to there. So the frame walls are vertical members so they don't settle. So they, they've got to be put against here and fastened in a way so that the logs can settle down and the and the the drywall can slide or the logs can slide over the drywall. You can't fasten a frame wall to the logs. It would break the frame wall and crack the logs and things. So they have to be a settling slot by every frame wall. So there's a settling slot there, there Number three over there, and there's one right here. So those logs are full length all the way through. They will hold the roof. There's a pine ceiling that you can see from below. Now the whole entire house is vaulted, cathedral, open beam, to the peak ceiling. So when you choose a single level from Meadowlark, you're not getting something like a mobile home or a flat ceiling home. You're getting a vaulted ceiling, a tall ceiling, spacious feeling cabin or home. They're all like that. All of our homes are built with this high ceiling, whether it's a single level or a two story, three story, four story, doesn't matter. Your ceiling, your upper floor will always have this, this soaring cathedral. And you can look at the logs, you can look at the decking, and it's beautiful. The logs are looking really nice in this cabin, really nice. So let's talk about what's up in that ceiling. First of all, of course, the logs get assembled on our subfloor that we built. We built the framing below it and this subfloor. And then we set the logs, reassemble the logs, which came from our factory at Meadowlark, where they were first pre-assembled. So the logs are all put back together. And then 
The next step is to put that one by six tongue and groove decking on the ceiling on the logs. And then above that, there's a two by four spacer on each of those logs to give some space. Then a nine and a half inch eye joist on top of that. And then five inches of foam spray, which flows in between the rafters, the eye joist rafters and that spacer. So it's a solid foam spray from that gable to that gable, completely solid, unbroken foam, no seams, splices, nothing. Spray on foam. On top of that foam, there's 5 8 OSB sheeting, then the synthetic felt on top of that, and then your shingles or your metal on top. And there's venting the, to vent the entire roof out, which is these holes here, which will be covered with vent after we spray the outside with stain. So they can vent through the peak out the other side to give the roof ventilation. Okay, let's shut the door and go outside, take a tour of the outside. <clears throat> the doors and windows all have the trim put on, Douglas fir trim. This slips down over, allows for settling. And there's an angle iron slot in here where the door fastens to an angle iron, fastened to a frame, and the trim can slide over these logs. So there's no settling issues whatsoever. The logs will settle all by themselves with no nothing you have to do about it. All maintenance free that way. Again, this is our, our timber planking porch deck that we saw. We mill it at our yard, at our facility and makes a beautiful, strong, very strong, robust floor. And then in the summertime, we'll come back, give this coat a stain, well, three coats of exterior stain, the porch floor, the ceiling, the railing, the logs, all the exterior. These are big logs, as you can tell. Every home gets a four foot overhang, unless it's a cabin, it's a little bit less, but a four foot overhang on the ends as a minimum to protect the home from the snow and the rain. Okay, let's start from the bottom. Around the skirting of the floor that we built, we put a full one inch by 12 Douglas fir plank board on the outside, more like a plank, along the outside to trim off the porch and the house. So get that all the way around the perimeter of the house all the way around the bottom. And then also, we talked about the roof. The roof gets trimmed with the same material, a double fascia, all the way along the roof to, uh, to seal that off. Again, that's rough sawn milled at our own place. We used to use cedar. If you're watching this and you're a new customer who hasn't gotten your house yet, we won't be using cedar on your home. Uh, in 2020, we couldn't get the cedar. It became unavailable. It became extremely expensive. We were forced into cutting our own material, which was actually a good thing. This is a much better material, much stronger than the cedar. So we're really happy to be able to use this uh, Douglas fir product ourselves. Get trees from the loggers, and we cut the material on our mill. We can control the supply. We're not held hostage to cedar from Canada or other places where it's hard to get the, the old growth cedar. These logs are very available for us. And I think the pink orange looking material is beautiful. I have it on my house. So this is the back side of it. I think that cedar, I mean, I'm sorry, that Douglas fir trim is, is great. We air dry the material so it's it's quite dry and seasoned. And this house will get a good washing with a power washer and a cleaner before we stain it. There's a little bit of dust on the logs and a little bit of dirt, but not bad. But we'll clean all that off before we stain it. Those windows are uh, supposed to be in soon, though. We'll get those installed on the top there. <clears throat> Step back and have a look at this. Got a little snow coming on. This is in the Whitefish, Montana area. A little bit out in the boonies. 
but these folks are going to enjoy their home a lot. They're very, very happy. I spoke with him this morning and he was pretty ecstatic. That's what we like. Happy, excited customers, homeowners. We feel like we're building legacy for families, something that will be in their, gener uh, their family line for generations. They can pass it on. These homes will be here in hundreds of years from now. Well, I thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy this video and God bless everyone. Thank you.